Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make the kukri knives from Resident Evil. You see Mia Jovovich carrying these around sometimes? Kind of cool. Right? I'll give you the template for how to make these with all the patterns, and the shuriken too, which is kind of fun little extra. little bonus I give you in the template. Um... About the kukris, they're also called Gurkhas because these are actual real weapons that come out of Nepal. The Nepalese use these and they're weapons in basic utility knives. Kind of interesting how they're very top heavy like this and they're good for like striking like this. You know, it's got a, the weight in that is unusual. Um, so I give you everything you need in the template and how to make these and to make everything you just need one sheet of foam board. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, why not hit that button? Always lots of fun, free, interesting, and creative uh, videos. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, I just wanted to show you real quick how I start with a project like this. Is I sketch it out in full size. And, uh, you know, if you want to make a sword, you might try to do that. Sketch out small first and then full size. Okay, so print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. And cut out the pieces. And there's only two pages, not many pieces. This is an easy project. You can have it done in no time at all. Now, pieces one, two, and three, lay them out like this. and tape them together and you have your template for the kukri so and all you need for this project is one sheet of foam board lay that template out on your foam board and trace it and if you're only making one kukri then you just do two of these but if you want to make the pair, the set of them, you make four of them. So, trace as many as you need. Each kukri needs two. So there you go, I have four because I'm going to make a set. And then lay out the handle pieces, which is part number four. And make two of those per kukri. Kind of a weird, weird kukri. <laughs> it's funny to keep saying it, kukri. <laughs> it's like cuckoo clock. Um, now, and don't forget to trace out the little embellishments there on the handle piece and you do that by um, pressing down on the template it causes an embed in the foam board and now you can follow that embed to draw in the lines and if you're going to do the shuriken do the same thing tape it down press down firmly with a blunted pencil and that causes an, uh, an imprint in the foam board so you can lift it up, and now you can draw it out. Because it's, it's easier that way, particularly with the shuriken, because um, otherwise it's a little tricky to cut all of those pieces out and then hold it while you're tracing it. Just easier this way. So there we go. Everything is done. One sheet of foam board. Very nice. Cut those pieces out. And let me show you a tip when it comes to cutting foam board. I am using an X-Acto knife, which is the best. But you do this, you do three passes. You cut one pass cuts the top sheet of paper, the second pass a press harder and cut through the foam, and the third pass you cut you press even harder and you cut through the bottom layer of paper. And that's how to cut foam board easily. Don't forget to do those. And you might want to try a sawing action like this for the delicate parts. But there you go, it looks good. So let's glue it together. Um, you can use any kind of glue you want, a white glue, hot glue gun, practically any kind of glue will work. You probably could even use a glue stick. Glue two pieces together to make the blade and the handle, the whole thing like that. And then trim any excess or anything that doesn't match up nicely. 
Now let's do the handle pieces. And I want to show you how to do these. Uh, the one handle goes over and one handle goes under, but that under piece has to be flipped. So the, the drawing is on the wrong side. I'll show you how to fix that. But we're going to do all those four. There's four parts to this, four easy parts. We want a bevel on this part and where the blade is. So cut along the line like this. Just cutting through the top layer of paper. And then hold your knife at an angle and cut the foam board like this so it causes, it, it forms a bevel. I mean, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but um, and so this can be a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of a feel to get it, but give it a shot. And do the same thing. See, see how it's going to be. And you do the same kind of a thing. Do a beveling on the uh, the butt of the handle. Which I believe with the kukri, this is called the keeper. And a little bit of sandpaper will help smooth things out. Now the other one, see, the one that's going to go on the underneath wouldn't fit right. So you have to bevel the other side. So transfer the, those two lines onto the back. See, one here and one here. And then bevel those. And, and then now finish off the handle pieces by cutting out the, the pins here. And this is optional. You don't have to cut these out. But let's glue it all together. You glue one on the top. And the other side that you had transferred the pattern with, you go on the bottom and that's it. The um, kukri is built. So let's paint it. Paint the handle black. And then we want the, the, the steel is a, a blackened steel too for the blade, but we don't want to be the same shade of black. So add a little bit of silver to that paint, that black paint. Mix it up well. and then paint the blade that new shade of black. And you can't see the difference really well in the, with the camera and the lighting, but um, you, know, you can tinker with that, add a little bit more silver, add some more silver. So it's a different shade of black and it, and it shows. It's almost like a gray. So now we're going to dry brush it to give it a good metallic look. So put some, this is plain silver, not our mixed. This is just plain silver paint. If you don't have silver, use gray. Dab off most of the paint on that brush and then lightly brush over your blade. Don't do the handle, just the blade like this and see what it does. It leaves just a little bit of paint because the black paint that you put on there actually has high and lows in it and this will pick up those highs and lows. It's kind of nice. Gives it a good look. We've used this technique before, like building the medieval stone wall and other projects. But you know, it takes a little bit of a feel, but you'll get it. And then once that's done, paint the cutting edge on the inside curve like that. And that's it. Uh, don't forget to do the keeper. Silver. And now a little trick here, if you have a hot glue gun, put hot glue in those holes we cut because we're going to transform them into like golden little uh, jewels. But that is optional. But once that hot glue um, cools and sets, you can paint them a color, whatever color you want. I painted them gold. I think red would probably look good too. Now the shuriken, you can do a similar thing with that, with that center circle, fill it with hot glue, and uh, I kind of like it because it adds a little bit of weight 
to them. You know, the foam board is very light. Uh, adding a little bit of weight to it makes a difference here. And once that sets, paint the whole thing's over and you are done. That's it. Send me a picture, I will send you a certificate of contribution if you make any of these projects. So if you have, oh, and if you have something to seal it with, seal it. I use the Mod Podge uh, spray sealant. Gives it a little bit of a shiny metallic look. See that? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.